So you guys have been requesting a video of how I set up my screen on my Tesla style uh, radio for my F-150. And today I'm going to show you guys how I do it and how easy it is that you guys can set it up to get a setup looking like mine or even better. Let's jump at it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Deaning It Yourself. If it's your first time here, welcome. And for all my long time subscribers, welcome back. Today's video is a long awaited video. Um, I've got a lot of requests from my followers once I put out the video on my Tesla style radio from Autotech Pro for my 2016 F-150 and in today's video I'm going to walk you guys through Nova Launcher. Now Nova Launcher is um, an app that allows you to customize the look and feel of your Android tablet and of course this is an Android tablet so that's what it does. Uh, I'm going to show you the steps that I use and the steps that you guys can use to follow along to get your radio to look something like mine and of course you can tweak it yourself and make it your own and do whatever you want to do. Uh, I want to give a shout out at first to the guys over at the F-150 um, forums. Please guys if you guys haven't checked them out it's easy you just have to type in Autotech Pro F-150 forum and it will take you there you can search they got a bunch of um, knowledgeable guys over there that will show you how to customize your radio you know different than mine and point you in the right direction if you have questions about purchasing it and setting it up and issues that you may run into along the way I'm gonna try and make this video as short but informative as possible I don't want to get too long-winded so um, I'm going to leave timestamps below for different sections of the video if you guys are interested in a certain specific section and I'll leave links in the description to any of the things that I may be talking about wallpapers um, if I can and icons and such that way you can stay focused on the video and do whatever you have to do after once you watch this video um, one of the things I would suggest in watching this video is watch it through first to get an understanding of how the radio works and how Nova Launcher works and then after that what I would do is go through each section and take a screenshot or pause the screen mimic those settings whenever you're working on your own radio that's the easiest way and that's what I did I just took screenshots from another user to help me and guide me whenever I was doing the setup it may be tedious at first but once you get used to it and understand how Nova Launcher works it's going to be a breeze and you guys can get your radio exactly the way you guys want it Without further ado, let's go ahead, let's jump into the video and I'll show you guys what to do, where to start and how to get this thing looking awesome. All right, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your Google Play Store. You find it wherever you can in your uh, settings. Um, mine is located here, but yours may be different. But what you want to do is you want to go to the Google Play Store and you want to search for Nova Launcher. All right, once you found Nova Launcher, you're going to have Nova Launcher and Nova Launcher Prime. You want to install Nova Launcher and Nova Launcher Prime. Prime is a paid version of Nova Launcher, but it allows you to unlock all the features that you're going to need to do a fully customizable screen. It's not expensive. It's a one-time purchase. Go ahead and purchase uh, Nova Launcher. Once you have Nova Launcher installed, the next thing you want to do is you want to get an SD card. Mine is a small one here, but what you want to do is put this in your computer, uh, format it, and you want to create some folders like movies, music, uh, wallpapers, icons, um, backgrounds, whatever you want to name them. Just create some folders and have this ready because I'm going to refer to this during the setup process and um, I'm going to come back to it to show you guys exactly what to do once you have those things on there and where you can get them. All right. With that said, you got that all the way. You got your memory card. Now let's jump back into the settings. So once you have uh, Nova Launcher downloaded, you can tell here on my screen, the way Nova Launcher works is it breaks the screen up into certain um, portions, or I would say grids is a better way to explain it. Um, in my case here, I have my grid set up to a 5x7 grid um, and you'll see what that looks like later but that's what works for me in this scenario. You might have to mess with yours a little bit but let me go ahead and show you guys what I mean. So, as you can see here, we have Nova Launcher. You're going to go into the Nova settings, right? 
once you're in the Nova settings, this is where the magic happens, right? Now I suggest that you mess with these settings first. Once you have the layout set up, you can put on your, um, your wallpaper and that way you can tweak the settings to match the wallpaper, okay? So, um, you're going to, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go into the home screen. And you can tell here that my home screen is set up in a grid, it's seven by five. If you click on it, it shows you the positioning of it. I have my subgrid positioning checked. Now, make sure you take a picture of these or screenshot. So if you want to emulate my setup, you can. Um, then you're gonna to go to the layout. Now, this is where you're gonna to have to mess with the settings a little bit to adjust the icon size. But if you want a starting point, this is a good starting point for you um, whenever, if you wanna emulate the same settings that I have here. All right, now padding, I have none. It's just an extra padding around the icons. Dock, now on your dock, dock background, um, I have my background on my dock, basically 100% transparent, which is, this is the dock here. So there's nothing behind it. And this comes as part of the original uh, wallpaper that I'm going to show you guys where you can get it. All right. Um, dock pages is one. Dock icons is five. And this mirrors the amount of icons that I have on the bottom here. So five is what I have. So it will give me the same length on my dock as my wallpaper. Icon layout pretty much to match the desktop. All of these are um, for the dock purposes and they should match what you have set up for your uh, dock, what you have set up for your icons on your main settings. Same thing, padding, you can put none and none, it doesn't really matter. Um, that's what my settings are for my dock. Infinite scroll, you're gonna leave that off. Advanced display as overlay is off, which places the dock above the home screen. Now mine is not above the home screen, so you can click on it and the dock will come up. Um, go back again we're back to the home screen we're back to the home screen settings and you can see here we went through dock the widgets you set the radius of the widgets here search bar i turned my search bar to none the search bar is a google bar that will be on your dock if you like having your google bar um on your home screen you can enable it and you can place it wherever you want and i'll show you how to customize and move around your icons in a second but these are the settings that you want um, or if you want to do it just like mine uh, wallpaper scrolling i have mine set to on transition effect is simple and that relates to just your scrolling as you're scrolling through your icons I didn't want to go too crazy in mine, so I just left mine to simple. Uh, page indicator, again, this is, you know, you can have the dots or the three dots or the bar at the bottom. I just set mine to the bar at the bottom. I haven't messed with these settings too much, but um, again, once you get into this, you can go down a rabbit hole, all right? Um, new apps, add icons to home screen. I checked that off because I want my home screen to stay how I have it and I can add and take away icons depending on which ones I want to leave on my home screen. Your advanced, pretty much, this is what you're looking at. You lock your layout, you leave that off. Um, no show shadows. I don't like the shadows at the top and the bottom of the screen. You have widget overlap, so you can have them overlap each other if you need to. That helps in the positioning of your widgets on your home screen, all right? Now we can go back. Um, app drawer. This is just for whenever you click on your app drawer to this will show the layouts of your apps. This doesn't affect the home screen and your main screen. It's just whenever you click your app drawer and how you want your apps to be displayed. You can have your app, uh, the vertical, a list, horizontal, um, grid, however you want it, however many apps you want to be seen when you click on all your apps. Um, 
all of these settings here again you can take a screenshot to mirror this and see what my settings are if you want to follow along i just left this as default i actually never messed with any of these things in here it just my I, my concern was just the home screen and how the home screen would look um the folders again all of this i left uh and on, on default um the icon layout to match the icon size the desktop to match the desktop size the labels are on and the font which are the fonts underneath the the icons you can mess with this if you want your fonts a little bit bigger smaller i left mine as condensed and the size is kind of like a medium to small uh, and i want my 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 labels or the names of the apps to be a single line you can have it uh if your if your name is Nova Settings, you can have Nova Settings down here. Make it uh, two rows. If not, I wanted mine on a single line. And the folder icons, you can have it set up. However, if you have folders um, of your apps, this will be the settings of how they look. You can have them adaptive. Um, however, you want to set them. It's it's up to you. You have a bunch of different uh, settings for your. Uh, your application folders and you guys can customize this however you want let's go back here search I'm not going to mess with that that's just for the Nova search window the look and feel is probably what you're going to want to mess with next and these are the style of my icons I went with a squarical shape you can change your icons to be circle circular rounded square uh, flower all different uh, different shapes for your icons it's up to you and again these are the settings that I have on mine I didn't mess with them this just stayed the same now let's go back up to the screen orientation was set to auto rotate so if you have anything being displayed in landscape mode or portrait mode the screen will automatically adapt to whatever your um, screen orientation is pop-up menus I, I didn't do anything with the pop-up menus show undo bar disable animations notification bar i have the notification bar here which comes down from the top to show whenever you have any notifications um, you can see here the transparent bar uh, notification bar is set to on transparent navigation bar is set to on um, i'll leave it back on dark icons so mine is set to auto so when my screen goes into night mode it automatically changes the color of the icons as well on the home screen night mode is pretty much i have it set to the system so if my screen if my screen goes into night mode the everything will go into night mode and if it stays on daytime mode it will stay in daytime mode again you can mess with your gestures and your inputs all of these stuff are customizable I didn't mess with any of these things I'll, all I was focused on was the home screen and getting my home screen to look the way that I wanted um, if you're done with that you're pretty much done the only thing you need to do next is you need to select your default launcher so when your when your radio boots up it's going to launch a launcher um, and this is the factory one that comes with the unit once you install Nova launcher you'll see Nova 7 make sure that's checked so that once your uh, unit boots up it's going to run Nova launcher and you're going to get your home screen the way you've configured it all right once you're done with that you should be back to the home screen and your home screen is going to look like this with a bunch of icons all over the place now the first thing you want to do is you want to download a wallpaper my wallpaper has a picture of a f-150 here and it has these squares um, already predefined on the wallpaper if you want this wallpaper i'll leave a link down below where you can get it i got it from the f-150 forums um, i think the guy's name is rj ninja or something like that but i'll leave a link in the description and i'll leave his name the correct name here so that i can give him credit he helps a lot on the f-150 forums so if you have any questions, trust me, guys, get in the forums, talk. The guys will help you to troubleshoot this radio and get it set up the way you want it. Now, the cool thing with uh, Nova Launcher is that everything is uh, configurable from the screen once you have the setup um, done. Now, load the wallpapers onto your um, memory stick. 
load any icons that you want these icons are customized i changed this one this one and my ford sync i just searched online found the icon that i like saved it in the folder and i'll show you guys how to customize it um once you have it set up but the most important thing is getting the positioning right and what i did was once you have the icons where you want all you really need to do is click on an icon and you can hit edit you can change the name of it and you can and you'll see that you can click on the icon itself if you want to change it and then you can go into gallery of apps um, or sorry gallery apps are built in they have a bunch of different built-in icons for them gallery apps shows here you can go into files there is where you can search for the icons that you've saved on your um, memory stick if you don't see them here you can click on this and this is where I named my USB auto tech you just click on that and the folders will come up you can click on icons and there you go you can go to your icons and you can change whichever icons that you want now we go back to the home screen again here um, you can just drag your icons and you can see they pop up wherever you want you can move them around and place them wherever you want once they're placed they're there and you'll have the layout now uh, if you if you don't have your icons on the screen here you need to go to your app drawer to find your apps you can swipe from the bottom of the screen and your apps will all come up and all you need to do is click on an app right here and move it and it will come to your desktop and you can place it wherever you want on your desktop right or on your home screen mine is here obviously I don't want it up here but just to give an idea you can place it wherever you want and then again you can always remove remove it from your desktop or from your home screen I should say in order to get the wallpaper on your screen what you want to do is you want to hold down the screen and you go to wallpapers now if you click on wallpapers you're going to see a bunch that comes with Nova Launcher all you need to do is just pick an image and again you'll be brought to this interface you go to your uh, USB drive and I had mine set a folder called wallpapers and it's selected here you can just select whichever one you want now wallpapers need to be in 2k format not um, 720 by 1080 or um, uh, 1920 by 1080 it needs to be in 2k format and that will give you the best fit for your screen so once you have that wallpaper selected all you need to do is set wallpaper boom it will put the wallpaper on your home screen and then you'll be able to move around your icons to get them positioned wherever you want the next thing is widgets you see up here I have the date here and this is for my Apple music I'm actually going to change this to my calendar but you can also put the widgets up here again hold on to your screen and if you look below here you'll see widgets you can scroll through a bunch of different pre-filled widgets that are here you can put the clock you can go to your contacts you can put your favorite apps once you've installed apps on here more options will come up so if you don't see an option here it's because the app is probably not installed and it doesn't have an, a widget associated with that so you can go through here whether you can customize these things in all different formats and you can resize them as well all right so again settings will take you into the nova settings so if you ever want to get to the nova settings all you need to do is hold on on your screen hit settings and you can go into nova settings to customize um, whatever that you need to customize all right you can also have different pages so this is my home screen I don't have a secondary page but you can also have another page so if you swipe left or right on your home screen other pages with other apps can come up if that's what you wanted to do mine I didn't want to do that I have my app drawer set in the center as well as you can scroll from the bottom and you can select all your apps I wanted to keep my interface simple um, and that's it now if your widgets don't fit one of the things you can do again is click on the widget you can click on resize and you can adjust the size of the widget to fit on the screen that you want
once you have all your apps configured on the home screen, they may be off a little bit, and that's where you go back into the settings for um, Nova Launcher, and you can go ahead and mess, mess with the layout. Change the sizes a little bit for the fonts, change the icon sizes up or down, they'll be smaller or larger, and you can move them around to match whatever you want on your screen. The cool thing about Nova Launcher is this grid is customizable. You can make it seven by seven. If you want to have bigger icons, you can make the, you know, you can have three by five instead of five by seven and do whatever you want on that. All right, apart from that, that should give you the starting point for um, Nova Launcher. The most important thing, oh, one more thing. A lot of people ask me about my boot up. Now, when the radio boots up, it has a factory boot up um, from the Android. If you would like to change that, that is done inside the settings. Um, there is a way to make it an animated boot up, but that's a, another video and it might get a little tedious, so I'm not gonna talk about it here, but just to show you, you can change the image of your boot up image. All you need to do for that is to go into your settings for your factory radio, not your Android settings, but the, the, the settings that come from your radio. It should look something like this, all right? And what you want to be looking for is you want to go to user and you want to go to boot logo. If you hit boot logo, you're going to see nothing. But again, you can click on here, go to the USB stick, and you can make a folder for boot logo on your USB. Um, if you look in here, you can click on any one of these logos and once the radio is booting up, that will be the logo that will come up on your radio. Apart from that, you're back to your home screen and this is it. Now, I'm gonna work on a project where I change my F-150 uh, logo there to actually be the F-150 of my car, but that takes a little bit of Photoshop and um, editing work. If you guys have that capability, Nova Launcher is what you really need to use. You can customize this thing in so many different ways. This is just one, but this gives you an, uh, a little bit of an understanding of how capable this unit is and how capable Nova Launcher is and what you can actually do with it. If you guys enjoy the content, I enjoy doing this for you guys. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned for more DIY content and more um, content that I'm gonna put out regarding pretty much anything. I've recently gotten into RC cars, so I'm going to be fixing and doing some RC work on my remote control car for my son. If you guys like that content, also hit the thumbs up um, and give me a like. Hi right, guys, welcome back. I hope that tutorial was helpful for some of my followers uh, who are asking questions about the Nova Launcher setup and how to get their Android screen set up like mine. It is a powerful tool. Once you get into Nova Launcher and you start messing with it, you can do a ton of different things. You can customize this thing to look incredible. There are other tutorials out there. Um, I'll try and leave some links to some of the ones that I've found that I'm actually thinking about doing to change the custom look of my radio. But again, once you have this app, I know it's a paid version, guys, but it's not that expensive. It's worth the, it's worth the purchase. If you want to get your radio looking something different than what it comes from the factory, I would definitely advise it. Also, please check out the F-150 forums. I urge you to do that. The guys on there are very helpful. They're always answering questions. And this radio seems to be one of the more popular ones that have come out for the F-150 and for other different trucks as well. I know they have it for the Toyotas, for the Dodge, the Chevys. You can put them in pretty much anything. So check it out. And these tutorials will apply to either case, whichever one you have or whichever one that you're interested in whichever one you are interested in. All right, once again, I appreciate you guys for watching and don't forget, hit that thumbs up button, give me a like, subscribe. I'm gonna put on more content. I'm always listening to you guys, trying to get your feedback, trying to improve my videos, trying to improve the content that I put out. So it is very helpful for you. It is very helpful for me, for you guys to be um, you know, following along and giving me your feedback because I take it seriously and I really appreciate it. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video.